If you're anything like me, then you're completely and utterly confused as to why different countries have different covers for the same book. I mean, have you seen these? Sometimes there's very little difference at all in the cover design, and then sometimes they might as well be completely different books. I'm going to be honest with you, this has bothered me for a really long time. And when I say really long time, I mean years. So I thought I would get off my millennial ass and do some research. Let's see why different countries have different covers for the same books, shall we? Okay, so a lot of research seems to suggest that different countries have different tastes and therefore the cover designs are different. But here are some of the explanations. Often British covers defer to darker colors and more negative space, while American covers tend to be flashier. All right, sometimes this is true, but I'm pretty sure it's not the case all the time. Then American covers don't shy away from portraying characters. Many British covers avoid this, giving the audience a chance to imagine their own versions. This may be true in some cases, but again, not at all. Of course, all the research I found was very English centric. And let's not forget all the different cultures and all their different tastes from around the world. Let's take the Harry Potter book covers for an example. It makes sense to me for the vast majority of these countries to have different cover designs because there are cultural differences that would make something like a cover design stand out in these different countries. Harry Potter with an English cover design, say in China, just may not have worked. But in terms of the different fonts and the subject matter and the colors and all of that on the cover designs, pretty sure it's down to the cover designer themselves and what they think would suit the audience. Sure, they'll design something they think the market will like, but I'm also sure they don't say things like the Brits prefer to leave it to the imagination and the Americans like it obvious. I'm not 100% sure that aesthetics are the only factor at play here. So let's go behind the scenes. To fully understand why different countries have different covers, let's step into the shoes of the author. If an author has given publishing rights to a certain publishing house, then that publishing house may have only bought rights to publish in a certain territory, for example, Northern America. They may not have actually purchased rights to publish it worldwide. This means they open the bid for different houses in different countries to bid for publishing rights for things like the British Commonwealth, for example. The bid may be won by the same named publishing house, but it would be a division in a different country, or it could be won by a completely different publishing house altogether. Even if a book was published in the same publishing house, they would likely have different divisions in different countries depending on the size of the publishing house, which would mean that each of these divisions would likely have their own cover designer and team to work on the design. For example, let's take a look at Pan Macmillan. They operate in 70 countries, that's a lot. Within these different divisions, the publishing house will have a different designer. They'll also have different criteria to work towards depending on their market. All in all, the designers and the publishing houses will think they know what the market wants, but they won't actually know until it's on the shelves. They'll see the other covers that were done before them and their designs, and they'll likely take elements from those cover designs to put them into their own so they're tied together, but all in all, the designs are their own. In almost all cases, the author has very little say on the cover design. This is why sometimes different books have different names in different countries. Let's take Harry Potter for an example. For Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the publisher thought that the word philosopher sounded too archaic for readers. So they changed the American edition to be published with the title Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. There are calls for publishing houses to focus on worldwide releases so that all of the covers are the same across the world. But I happen to think all of these different cover designs are a product of something beautiful. Books are open to interpretation. Once it's been written, it's in the hands of the reader to interpret it as they see fit. It's the same with the cover designs. 
Once it's in the hands of the designer, they're free to interpret it and translate it into a design they think people in their country will enjoy. If we had just one book cover for the whole world, it just might not work. Why not have different covers in different countries? Sometimes they get it really wrong, and sometimes they get it so right. So which boat are you in? Do you like that different countries have different covers for the same books or not? Also, which book cover did you like that I showed in this video? Leave me a comment because I would love to know. And I will see you next Thursday for another video.